Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to Beyond... Fuck. I finally did it. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Let's check out this uh, busted-ass tavern, shall we? Come on. Pull those boards off. Or, yeah, maybe let Luther do it. Damn it, I keep forgetting to check one of the audio settings on this every time before I start an episode. Somebody remind me. Are you impressed? Here we go. I swear to God, if that pirate's a robot. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Okay, make a bed for Alice, check Luther's bag, settle for the night. What is this? USS Iowa missing. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Maybe it got sucked into that ghost hole. Destroyer class submarine, the USS Iowa, has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. Russian aggression just reached a new level. America must respond. Gossip Weekly. All Android band tipped for prize music. T wow, tipped for music prize. Okay. Um, don't care. So that's his bag, yes. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Why can't I? Check gun offer cookie. Offer cookie? What? Um, let's take a moment to think about it. Right? Look, that's, those are pretty different choices. Egg checked. Did it open up the other one? No? Where's Alice, actually, too? Shit, did we leave her outside? This is where this belongs. Uh-oh, we got more RA9. These will make a fine blank. And a pillow to boot. Awesome. I'm assuming I can't really do anything else while I'm holding these. Yeah, okay. I know how much you like sleeping in front of fires, Alice. So here you go. Alice? Well, I mean, I can't... Okay, I can't give him the cookie because... Oh, I... Okay, I guess we're checking the gun. What the hell was that? Okay. Mmm, this gun has two sides. God, I hope we didn't break the gun. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. Why is your opinion going up? Uh, I'm not complaining. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Optimistic. Across the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Canadians. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. No. Oh. I like you, Alice. Let's get you to bed. And by bed, I mean floor. What else do we have? Uh, can I look in the... Again, I can look at the bag? Why? Now I can... 
Well, no, why? I'm not gonna give him a cookie. He doesn't need a cookie. Why does it keep pushing the cookie agenda? Can I talk to you, Luther? No? Okay. Is that? Snow. Woo. Really not going to give me an RA9 prompt, though, huh? There we go. Finally. Okay. Well, let's get you tucked in, kiddo. Yes, right? Right? Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet she has real feelings, damn it. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. God damn. I should have one for you. Uh. Night! This is a story about a night. No, not a story like that. Oh, God that. damn it. Okay, fine. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Oh, it doesn't matter what we choose, apparently. Uh, who was unhappy? Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Your eyes closed? Shadow. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot. Named Bender Bending Rodriguez. Who was who lost. Was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. For a better life. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... Together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Like and crossing a busy street. They met... Giant. A gentle giant. Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. God, I hope I can make that happen. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. Real natural there, Luther. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. So, uh, you come here often, Luther? Make sure nothing new opened up anywhere. Nope. Okay. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Oh, yeah, we gotta ask. You ever heard we gotta ask. RA9? RA9 was the first for us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. 
Uh, doubts? What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. And also, what's the alternative? I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever done it? anything about Alice? What? No. What do you mean? Oh, fuck. Hi! Oh, God. No, 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 no. Shit. Silent Hill, Silent Hill. Um. Back to Alice. Grab gun. Uh. Out fire. Shit. Um. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ugh. Uh. Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. What? We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. So you broke in the windows. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. Until we'll you broke tomorrow. in the windows. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Oh, fuck. Children used to love to come and see us. Where I... She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Fuck. Something fun. She'll love it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. On, Tara. Are you fucking kidding, kid? I don't think you have any choice. Uh, he's got the gun, right? Join the Jerry's. Can I grab the flashlight? No, there's nothing left to do in here? Okay. Guess we're going with Jerry. If you meet a group of people living in an abandoned carnival and they all have the same name, run. Don't join them. We're gonna Be become Jerry. Be our guest. Our guest. Ride our shitty train. Wait, train? What? No, fuck. Ugh. So this thing has power, but none of the lights work? The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Um, I say... Oh, I guess we gotta choose the seahorse, huh? Up we go. You guys have, uh... Y'all tested this to make sure it's up to code, right? It's not gonna go, like, crazy fast. I like that that one jumped. Dude, there is something just... Even as an adult, just fun about carousels. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Still don't trust him. Well, that was a happy ending to that chapter. God, we got a lot of stuff on that one, didn't we? How much of this did we get? Has to be in the 90%, right? Damn it, 89. So we missed something in the car.
missed something at the fun. I knew we missed something there. And that's probably the cookie, right? Which, why would we give him a cookie? Sea gun, Kara, notice, sea gun, notice gun. All right, you know what? I feel pretty happy about how that went, though. Let's, let's see what we got next. How are you, friend Hank? Debrief with Hank. Okay. Uh, he's over there. What is this? It's a magazine. It's a magazine, isn't it? It's a magazine. Uh, we'll look at it for just for completion purposes. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Politics and action. Kind of earthquake. What happened to the man of the century? What do you mean? In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live, reconstructed our family life, and altered the balance of society forever. Whether for good or bad. Shortly after, Kamsky had disappeared. Ousted as CEO of CyberLife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he created. Kamsky's story begins blah blah blah, who gives a shit? Market predicts war. That's depressing. <laughs> All right. Yo, Hank. What's up, bud? I probably should be reading all these, but... What are you looking at, dude? Nothing. All right, play it cool, Connor. Don't fuck it up. He's likes us. He's happy with what we've been doing. Let's not fuck this up. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. It snowed. You just have that with you? <laughs> uh. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before. Before nothing. His son. Uh, personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Just me, baby. Uh, oh shit, which one? Um. Fuck, he's gonna be, he's not gonna like this either way. What do I want to know more about? Him trying to kill himself or his son who died? What do you guys think? I'm gonna say... Hey, I need to find the remote because the TV's about to turn off. There we go. God, it's been a while since that happened, huh? Um... I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Fuck. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Well, that went well. Good talk, Hank. We're not making any progress on this investigation. <laughs> nice segue, Connor. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Yeah, actually, that is the link, RA-9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? There's a weird arm you movement. preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? 
Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Uh, uh Shit. Fuck. Rational? They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel... None of those anything. struck me as, like, obvious what right choice. Me, Do you look human? Do you sound human? But what are you really? Uh, neutral? I'm whatever you want me to be. Fuck, Lieutenant. that's a stupid answer. Oh, Your maybe not. Your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Whoa, Some dude. Scruple suddenly enter into your program? Truth. No. Oh. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I was about to say, so far, Connor's the only one who... Like, Marcus and Kara both, like, clearly broke their programming. Connor has more or less been following it. I feel like there's little moments, though, like when Hank told him to stay in the car and he didn't. But we haven't had that push through the wall moment yet, so I'm not sure if like he can just naturally overcome his programming, or we just haven't gotten to that point yet. But that's that's the first big thing we've seen. I feel like. Ooh. But are you a Don't shoot me! I love you. Uh, fuck. Um. No. Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. Oh, what the fuck? You're just trying to I didn't think that was the fi was gonna be. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. Shh. You think you're so God damn it, Connor. Smart. Always one. His choices are so uh, ambiguous. Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. I was really happy with how this was going. Ooh. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Can I come? Damn it. <laughs> oh. Hank is play Would he have shot us? <laughs> oh shit, would Hank have shot us? Uh Wow. Okay. God. I think he might have shot us. We might have to rethink this whole Hank thing. Well, no, we don't, because he didn't shoot us, so. Still hope. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Oh shit, Marcus, just out in the open. I guess, why not, yeah. Go touch him. Go touch up on him. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. No. Oh, what the... Oh, that turned red. Oh, I was gonna say, is that the end of that chapter? <laughs> we can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Give me liberty or a bran muffin. 
What do you want to do? I want to. Ooh. Okay. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Hijack the media, apparently. <laughs> God damn, Connor, you clean up. Or Connor, Marcus, you clean up nice. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Except, I, the player, haven't been included in the planning process. So, request access at reception. Yeah, they're gonna have a scanner there, right? Give me that. What is that? Hello. <clears throat> I was gonna. I was gonna say, move, lady. Hello, I'm cutting line. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Mm hmm. Distract the supervisor. Smart watch, phone number, 555-8473. That's not a phone number. Emily Wilson, St. Rose School. Hmm. Elizabeth Wilson. Water service interruption. And what is that? Parking badge, okay. Not sure how we use any of this, but all. Is there, like, okay, we had the obvious choice of call, but can I do anything else? Well, let me go out and like to the parking structure maybe or something? Okay. I had to check. Nothing. I guess we're just gonna call. Oh, that's right. We can just call her with our head, can't we? Miss Wilson speaking. Uh, fire department. Yeah, hello. This is Detroit fire department. I'm not bringing her kid into this. I'm not an this asshole. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. There's been a fire in your building. You come down here. Oh. Oh God. Okay. Uh, I'll be right there. Go on. Go on. Hello. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. I have the ID that I can overwrite your brain. Oh, I, need your <laughs> I was going to say, how is that fake ID going to help us? I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Now go, be free. Like I said, it's weird when actual people show up. I'll uh, I'll wait for the next one. Damn, even the future elevators are slow as hell. What did, wait, what did that say? Find package in men's bathroom. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I guess we're going to go package hunting in a bathroom. Which, uh, I mean, it's the men's bathroom, so that shouldn't be much of a problem.
All right, you know what? We're going to call it here for now. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I'm interested to see where this is going to go, because I feel like this could very easily turn into a hostage situation on live television. Guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you want. Tell people. Don't tell people. Find a pen pal. That's not a thing anymore, is it? I'll catch you guys later.